Today we're going to read Horrible Haircut by Allison Ritchie and illustrated by Ian Newsham. Lucy had long hair. Lucy liked her long hair. She liked her hair long and tangly and messy. Her mother didn't. Her father didn't. Lucy, her mom said, you look like a hyena. Good, said Lucy. Lucy, her dad said, you look like a baboon. Even better, said Lucy. Here is Lucy getting her hair washed, but it must be difficult with her hair so long and tangly. Her dad is trying to comb her hair, but that's not easy either. I think Lucy looks like Scruff, said Lucy's brother Johnny. Perfect, said Lucy. Time for a haircut said mom and dad together. No, 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 said Lucy, running out of the room and up the stairs. Yes, 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 said Lucy's mom, fetching the scissors. I think Johnny is right. Lucy's hair does look like Scruff's. Her brother is saying good old Scruff while he pets him. Lucy doesn't want her hair cut, so she's running up the stairs. Do you think she's going to get one anyway? Come on, Lucy, Mom shouted. Come downstairs. No, I don't want my hair cut. Come down now. Lucy's mom has the scissors already and a chair for Lucy to sit on. She keeps saying, Lucy, come down now. And Lucy says, oh, Mom, do I have to? The dad says, oh, no, I'm off. And Scruff says, me too. And the brother just says, oops. Promise you won't cut off too much, said Lucy. I promise, said Mom. Promise you'll stop when I say so, said Lucy. I promise, said Mom. Promise you'll make it look nice? Oh, Lucy, yes, look, if you don't like it, then you can cut mine, okay? I can cut your hair if I don't like mine? asked Lucy. Promise? Promise, said Mom. This must be Lucy's room. Look, the monkey has hair like Lucy too. And this is Johnny's room. The signs on it say, no girls, keep out, and danger of death. I'll only cut this much so it looks neat, said Mom. Mom, Lucy scowled, I told you. I don't want to look neat. Mom combed Lucy's hair. Then she sprayed it with water to make it easier to cut. Now sit still, keep your head straight, and don't make a fuss. Mom cut off a little bit of hair. Mom cut off a little bit more here. She says, here we go. I guess her hair cut has started. But Johnny wants to do the same thing. He's using a watering can and a brush to wash scruff. And here he has scissors. I guess Scruff is getting a haircut too then. Mom cut off even more hair. This is easy, she says. Snip, snip, snip with the scissors. Johnny tried to trim Scruff's fur. Sit still, Scruff. He trimmed his ear instead. Scruff howled very loudly and very suddenly. Yo! Ouch, that's gotta hurt. That's why you shouldn't cut your dog's hair. At least not by yourself. And from all that, Mom got a fright. Eek, she yells. The watering can tipped over. There's water all over the place. The comb went flying. So did the scissors that Johnny had. Scruff is running out the door. And Lucy's mom lost her balance. And she's still holding Lucy's hair. And she's tipping over, too. What a mess. What do you think is going to happen next? Mom's hand slipped. She cut off a very big chunk of Lucy's hair. Oh, Scruff, you made me jump. Now look what I've done. Mm -hmm. What? What have you done, Mom? Said Lucy. Um, nothing. Everything's just fine. Johnny, leave the dog alone. 
Johnny over here apologizes to Scruff. He says, sorry Scruff, are you okay? And Scruff says, woof. But what did Lucy's mom do? I think she cut off too much of Lucy's hair. She already promised not to cut off too much. Do you remember what else she promised Lucy? Now let's see, um, I just need to er, sort of even it, it all up. Right, a little bit off here, a little bit more here, and a little bit more off here. Oops, <gasps> I think she cut off too much again. Oh, eek, that's really short. I don't know if Lucy is gonna like that. Lucy looked at the big pile of hair on the floor. Stop! Lucy jumped up. She ran upstairs to look in the bathroom mirror. Oh no, what do you think Lucy's gonna say now? She always liked her hair to be long and tangly. Let's find out. Ah! I think it's safe to say she doesn't like it then. Lucy ran into her bedroom and threw herself on the bed. Mom, it's horrible. It's awful. I hate it. What am I going to do? I'm not going to school tomorrow. I'm not going to school ever again. Everyone will laugh at me. <laughs> of course they won't. Don't be silly. Mom, you don't understand. Look, your real friends won't laugh. And if anyone else does, just say your silly old mother cut your hair too short. Anyway, lots of your friends have short hair. Honestly, I don't think Lucy's haircut looks that bad, but I can understand that she wasn't expecting her mother to cut so much off. But they've always had short hair, said Lucy. This is new. Well, it's not that bad. Come on, let's see what we can do. Now we could frizz it all up, Lucy thinks that's horrible, and tying it up in a ponytail she thinks is stupid. Or tie it up, yuck, she says. Or mess it up, disgusting. Or even wear a bow. Oh, mom. Right, now I'm cutting your hair, Lucy said, dragging mom downstairs. Uh-oh, do you think Lucy's mom is gonna let her cut her hair? But she did promise Lucy that she could cut her hair if she didn't like her own haircut. Okay, Mom. Ready? Well, now, Lucy, you see, the thing is, you said, well, yes, sort of, but you promised. Johnny says, this will be fun, Scruff. You never know. Maybe Lucy will cut her hair and it'll look nice. Lucy's mom is thinking, a promise is a promise, and she's keeping her eyes closed. Okay, sit still, Lucy said. Right, here I go. And there was a loud snip. Mom jumped up, she raced upstairs, she screamed. Uh-oh, says Johnny. I guess that means it didn't come out right, but you aren't supposed to cut your bangs like this. Otherwise, they'll always end up too short. Dad came running up the stairs. He looked at Lucy. Oh, Lucy, your, your hair looks very um, uh, interesting. Then he saw Mom. He didn't know quite what to say. How can I go to work tomorrow? Mom wailed. Everyone will laugh at me. What am I going to do? Don't worry, Mom, said Lucy. It's fine, just like mine. Lucy was beginning to feel a bit better. I guess Lucy doesn't feel that bad now that both herself and her mom don't like their new haircuts. Oh dear, said dad. I suppose you could wear a hat. That's not funny, shouted mom. Come on, mom, it's not that bad. Maybe hats are a good idea. Let's see what kind of hats they tried out. A winter hat. Mom says, I look stupid. Lucy says, you look cool. Then they tried out what's called a deer stalker hat. Mom says, that's daft. And then they tried out a hat that's called a bicocket. 
but Mom says that's ridiculous. Look out, warns Lucy's mom as she walks around in a sombrero. That's funny, she says, when they wear a pirate and a witch hat. I know, said Lucy. I've got a better idea. Hmm, I can't wait to find out what it is. Hair gel! That's a good idea, too. Then it looks like everything is supposed to stick up. Which would you prefer, the hats or the hair gel? Well, what do you think, Lucy? said Mom, who was getting used to her new hair. Lucy grinned. You look like a hyena, she said. That's funny, said Mom. So do you. Hooray, said Lucy. Well, honestly, I live in a house full of scruffs. Dad laughed. Talking of scruffs, where is that silly dog? said Mom. And where's Johnny? said Dad. Hmm, we haven't seen them in a while. Can you guess where they are or what they might be doing? Johnny, Scruff, where are you? I can see a tail, says Mom. There they are, said Dad. I'm sure they're up to no good, said Mom. Come out, you two. Here they are. I can see the tail, too, and Johnny's feet, and his face is sticking out through the bushes. Johnny looks cool, laughs Lucy. I'll sort you out, says Mom with a comb in her hand. Dad says, you're a right sticky pear. The end. I guess Johnny and Scruff wanted to use the hair gel, too. Maybe they felt left out. Now they all look like a family of hyenas. But you should really leave haircuts to your parents or a hairdresser. That way you won't look like a hyena. Who cuts your hair? Do you like your haircut? Have you ever tried to cut your hair yourself? Did it come out the way you wanted it? Leave your comments down below. I love reading them. To read other books, subscribe to this channel by clicking on the red subscribe button or by clicking on the three kids and then click on subscribe. This way you can always find this channel and listen to more stories. Keep reading and until next time on Miss Sophie's Storytime.